Additions to the agenda. I have Jubilee Beer Garden. Are there additional additions? I have one. I need a purchase over $500.
so I mean, where am I supposed to go with that? Okay, so do we need to provide you with a copy of the report from the meter company? I don't know what good that would do. The problem went away when the meter got changed. I understand that, but if we have a report from the company that comes back and says that the meter is fine, we don't have any way to verify that there was a problem with the meter. Okay, I guess I don't either, because I've got paperwork right here that you guys give me, or Donna gave me, that shows the problem went away when the meter was changed. Okay. Now, I'm looking at the letter that was sent, and I'm showing late charges dated 10 of 14, 8 of 14, 4 of 14, and the dates that I'm looking at don't go back to 2010. I agree, I agree with that, but I think them charges all stem back from that date. That's when it all started. Because at that time, I refused to pay the bill until we figured something out. Because like I said, I'd done, I went through all the resources I could. I replaced toilets, I replaced faucets. Bob was even going to help me do a pressure test on the water line before this other deal took place and we didn't end up having to do that. I had spent tons of money and I had no leak in my house. Okay. I had people that worked at the city told me, if you was using that much water at your house, you'd have the greenest, nicest yard in, in the city. Okay. My yard's dead. I don't water. Okay. Never have. I think, I think the council can direct staff to provide the council with additional information if that's necessary. <clears throat> I don't know nothing about your meters, how they work, or anything else. All I know is after all the money and time I spent chasing this problem, when we changed whatever we changed in the meter can, the problem went away. I mean, it shows right here on the paper. New meter was installed, water usage went to minimal after that. Telling me that has nothing to do with the initial problem. No. Okay. Go look at page. Can I make a suggestion yeah. here? The, the ordinance provides that the landowner can make written notice and a hearing can be held. But that, that hearing is not intended by ordinance to be an open session of the city council. If you're requesting a hearing, the ordinance has a hearing officer, who I believe it is. I had received a letter that said that I needed to pay this or my lights was going to be shut off by the 15th of the month unless I contested it. I contested it, and this is where we're at. This is the left next letter I got was to show up at this meeting. It says you have a right to a hearing. You can request a hearing in writing. And I called and told them I wanted the hearing. Okay, so this is where they sent me from the next step. Well, that's incorrect. There just needs to be a hearing date show. I didn't make that call. And, and I will point out that you are now a council member elect. If you intend to ask the council members for special privileges, I advise that you visit the council. I'm not asking for any special. I'm not the one that brought this up. This thing's been going on for five years, and it's been laying dead until I run for city council, and it's been brought up again. I'm just saying the ordinance does not provide the mechanism you're trying to do to contest that there is a hearing mechanism to provide the ordinance. The well, I guess officer, maybe we need to set that up then. And we will notify you as to the time and date um, if you could let Jonna know if there are times that are particularly bad for you, that would be helpful. I'm assuming you would do this during normal business hours. Yes. Okay. Fine. All right. Thank you. All right. Consent agenda. 
approve minutes for the regular meeting of 317-2015. Approve minutes for the special meeting of 321-2015. Approve appropriation ordinance 0401-2015 in the amount of $8,487.75. And approve appropriation ordinance 0407-2015 in the amount of $105,321.29. Any questions or comments? So moved. Second. All in favor? <clears throat> Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Chief Sailor called me. He um, had a scheduling issue come up. You should have there in front of you um, information pertaining to the Crown Vic that we requested <clears throat> from him. Um, Dennis Moore said they would give us $1,500 for the car without any repairs done. Um, estimated final cost to complete all repairs is $1,700 to $2,000 depending on which tires are purchased. Um, I did talk to Troy, or Troy talked to me. Okay. The car was never actually looked at. It was a yes that the whole front end needs to be redone. Okay. The tires. Um, which I applaud him for doing this. He just priced tires through Troy okay. or through Fisher Service. Where normally we would go through, we would price them both through the government and right. through a private individual or all private individuals okay. in town or tires places in town. So, I mean, the tires, I was told from Troy are probably at least half that if you go through the government. Okay. So, I talked to Adam today to ask him if he could at least get the car down here so we could have a true estimate done on it. Okay. Instead of just telling Troy to price the whole front end. Okay. So. I was under the impression that had taken place, so okay. I'll speak to him about that. Um, he did say that we could postpone it if that's what we needed to do. I mean, he, he was open to whatever council wanted to do with it at this point. So if we need to table it to the next meeting, then. That's oh, it's going to table until the next meeting. Do we need a motion? All right. John. So, I'd like to have an executive session, please, for attorney client to include Mel, myself, counsel, and Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's right just to ask one person. Yeah. Open it up. We don't have to do on everything else. The only thing I have is that the 550 is done. Uh, the digger truck, they're waiting on a part for it. It's a tell like commander. It's not built by all tech, so the parts have to come out of Texas. I talked to the salesman on Monday. The parts should be in on Wednesday. The truck should be done on Friday. 
So if that's the case, we'll get in the air next week and get home. As soon as the weather straightens out, where we feel like we can leave. So anyway, that's all I've got. All right. Um, for, this bell. Did I miss one? Yeah. Uh, just keep on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No. Said they tried to hit a couple of them and they kind of split it up. So, so it's for sure going to be 650 plus mileage. Any like we have a choice, is it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Do you want that motion to include mileage? 650 plus mileage. So moved. Second. Ready for the discussion? All in favor? Opposed, motion carries five And who's that for? Weiss. W-E-I-S. Okay, Mr. Bryant. Okay, uh, Mike, um, it was brought to my attention a, a while back regarding a, a Jubilee. Um, and this was through an uh, inflato fund. Um, what were you guys uh, planning on doing? What, um, uh, were, you, were you planning on just bringing some games in, some attractions? Uh, yeah, I think that was the original. Um, they had just kind of given us a, well, they did it in Dodge City, and they bring in like five inflatables, and I mean, I think you can pick, I think they have like, what, 30, 25 or 30 of them? You can well, I've looked on the website, they've got quite a few things. Huh? Right. So, I mean, whatever it is you decide to, to use. And I spoke, with, uh, I spoke with John and, and so whatever it is you um, we wanted to bring in, that we could allot some space out here during Jubilee in the uh, square. Um, one of the things when I spoke with uh, a Clay Cox from Inflato Fund, he said that staff can be provided, but uh, will the fire department be uh, staffing these attractions? Well, we didn't really get that far. Okay. I mean, we hadn't, we hadn't got that far into it. Uh, do, uh, right now, just do you think that might be a possibility to save yourself some money? I mean, I need to talk to him, but uh -huh. probably. Uh, I think it was for, I think, $1,000, and I thought they, like I said, we didn't get that far into it, uh -huh. so I don't know, I haven't talked to the guy, okay. I just, I know he had dropped off some brochures and stuff. And Do you have any idea uh, what you might bring in? Um, I, I know for sure we kind of talked, like I said, it was only one meeting, and then, and uh, I knew we were going to bring in the, the rock wall, and we hadn't really got any further than that. Okay. Can get a clarification. 
Um, I don't know. That we was can have room in the square if it's game type stuff, but if it's the inflatables that are going to be on the grass. Well, I think they're all inflatables. And I think, I mean, our only idea was to put them on the street somewhere. Like, over here. I don't know. I mean, we did. We really didn't get that far into the planning. We just talked about it and thought it would interfere with the uh, with the, with the carnival. Carnival. Okay. So, um, do you have any idea what you might? I mean, because I know this was one of the biggest concerns um, with the carnival was how much you would charge it and take away money from the carnival. Correct. Right. Uh, do you have any idea? Well, he recommended. I think. <clears throat> I think what they did in Dodge City was I think it was $25 for a bracelet, unlimited, but we wouldn't charge probably that much because right. that's a little too much for around here. I, we were thinking $15, $20, 15 okay. or uh, a dollar a ticket. So, I mean, if you didn't want to do that much, you could just do a couple things. Right. Okay. And were you going to be set up for both days? Um, or just no. one? Yeah, I think it was just Saturday. Just Saturday? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I don't see I don't see an issue with bringing them in. I don't want I understand John's concerns with if we take money away from the carnival, you know, that maybe they might not come back. But I really don't see a, a big issue with that. I don't think that everyone's going to run over and do this and not jump on the rides. That's just my opinion on it. Okay. But the carnival did have some flowers, didn't they? They had silver slide, they had a bounce thing. But the things that you're planning on bringing is not, it's nothing like that, right? Right. I mean, I know we were going to do the rock wall for sure. And uh, I think they had another thing that two people got on and ran opposite directions. And, and maybe the uh, thing you stick up run and jump and you stick up on the wall. Okay. I mean, like I said, we didn't get too far into planning right. because we just just didn't. We just figured it was taken away from the... Okay. From the, Are you still planning on doing this or do you want to do this? I would have to talk to everybody. I mean, we've kind of put it by the wayside now, so I mean, it'd have to be something I bring back up to everybody. And, okay. I mean, I'm sure everybody would be on board, but maybe might want to consider that. Okay. Because I think that the more the things that we can bring into Jubilee, the better for the community. You know, and for Jubilee itself. What do you think, John? There's there's a lot of ways to look at it. I know there's only so many dollars in parents' pockets. I know that I visit with a lot of other city clerks that say, how do you get a carnival? You're a small town, you don't, we can't get a carnival. So, you know, I hate to ever come to a point where we didn't have them. And they are out of Dodge City, and I think it's a, they like coming here. Um, this is a, a good time for them because they can um, still have part of the weekend off because we do it on the early part of the weekend. Um, to say that it would take away from there, you know, it's a toss-up. And yes, I want the kids to have fun too. You know, we've done other things where we had games in the park and, and other kinds of things too. So, um, who knows? We could just try it and find out. I mean, we would certainly want to know, like, if you decide on certain things, if you would let me call the carnival and make sure they're not bringing anything similar okay. so that there wouldn't be direct right, competition. Right. Is there an agreement the city has with the carnival company regarding we do. competing with the carnival or types, types of attractions the city can do that would be competition with the carnival? No, we just do a very simple contract with them and say that they're here and they have their liability insurance and we don't charge them anything, they get their whole gate, you know. Um, years ago, we got a cut of that, but that time's gone. Um, we're just really happy that they'll come, and it's a pretty clean outfit, considering, you know. And so we really don't have any, I guess they probably wouldn't think that we would bring in another carnival. 
but we do rent booth space. Yes. And do we put limitations on what you can use booth space for? Well, your booth space is just 10 feet wide. I understand not, that. No, I mean, you can do, I mean, a lot of people have done games and stuff. So if the fire department, or anybody else for that matter, mm -hmm. were to come in and want to rent eight or 10 booth spaces, because they were going to do something big, they would yeah, be I, able to do that. Yeah, I would have wanted to try to, you know, I want the Jubilee to do well too. You know, I mean, obviously we put in a lot of time and effort for it. So I, if you ask me how that would affect it, I, I just really don't know. There's different ways of looking at it. You know, I've been a parent where there was only so much money we could use, you know, for that weekend. And, but the kids had to make a choice and they had to be happy with their choice or not, but they still had to make a choice and there's nothing wrong with that. What would the uh, fire department do with the money to make? Why? Uh, we're just trying to find something to do with scholarship. I mean, it's going to go to scholarship. Yeah. We're just so trying to keep that. find something that's to keep going on. Yeah. With that. Kids can have fun and we're putting money back in yeah. the hard deal and yeah. scholarships yeah. and everything yeah. else. Okay. Well, 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 I would suggest uh, getting with uh, the rest of the department and talking about it and get back with John. Okay. Get the information that she would request and go from there. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Yep. I sent us the council that at the next meeting on, on the 21st, I have to, where I was standing up here at a trial in Reno County, I don't know how long it'll be there, so I may be late. session between the, one and two? Yeah, between one and two. Ten minutes? Or should we go longer? Three. Three. Ten minutes, we got to go longer? Or do you yeah, think that's too long? Ten minutes, and then we'll go longer. Yeah. Second. Okay. So moved. Second. Second. through each one of these then or, or that's uh, up to you. You're you're in charge. You just tell everybody to read something before. No. We're an open session. We're an open session. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's open session. It's supposed to be the, the guiding 
the, the land bank allows you to do whatever you want, frankly. Okay, but uh, it's, it's, it's the guiding, I guess, policy or the principles uh, of a particular property. Guys have got the numbers. So, do we need to go into executive session to discuss the sale? Discuss the sale because it's sale of real property. There needs to be an executive session. Okay. Uh, Sorry. I guess I need. Do I need to have the motion made, or then can I just make it? Let's read um, on the, the record for an open session what applications you received. Just the names? Yeah, the received applications for We received, received an application for the property on 3rd Street or 3rd Avenue, one from uh, Neil and Allen, also one from Oscar Portillo, and one from Chase and Trey Fisher.
I'd like to make a motion to allow him a couple hundred dollars or two hundred fifty dollars to buy paint with that he was on or St. Joe or wherever he is. Paint and supplies. Uh, paint and supplies, yeah. Second that motion. Yeah, for two hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty dollars. Up to two hundred fifty dollars. Up to two hundred fifty dollars. And then if they if they got projects they can come back to the city and do it. Thank you. 